on Black Friday, I went to the store to go get this specific game. Yo, what's up? This is K Smooth B, and welcome to the channel. That's the artist name I actually made for myself when I first started rapping. And this is the official first time I'm actually using that name. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you are a fan, then keep on enjoying my videos. Keep leaving those thumbs up, and I love you. If you are a new person visiting, subscribe for more videos. Well, I'm going to keep making more videos. But just subscribe to get notified for more videos and get concepted into the universe of my world. Now, this video is not a cover video. It's not any song that I'm doing. It's more of a concept video. And it starts off with this game. But before I get into this game, let me just quickly say, your mind is the only mind that can understand what you want and what you're achieved. This is a video for pursuing and believing your goals and knowing you have the capability of doing that, no matter who you are. Don't let anybody else tell you something. If you have a conversation with someone and they look at you and like, Bro, I already know you can't achieve this shit. You're not good enough. You look at them, you don't have to reply to them, but you can if you want to, and you look at them and say this. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with you thinking I'm not good enough, but really I'm the only person that could see my mind. And I already know I will, I have the ability and I can achieve the goal or whatever idea it is that I want. There is no point in continuing this conversation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you these concepts to help you understand how to pursue and how to reach your goals, whatever your goal may be. I want you to use this and I want you to believe it. And if you don't want to use it, that's entirely up to you. Now we're going to start off with this game. I went, to, I went on Black Friday to get this game. I spent 20 minutes looking at the game, wanting it really badly, and I ended up not getting it. I got this hat instead, but that's a whole other story before I even looked at the game. But I ended up not getting it, and I regretted the feeling. The reason I didn't get it was because I knew if I got this game, uh, it would be using up my time. And time for me moves super fast. Five hours moves by in like five minutes, because the way it works. I look at time, I'm like, I'm gonna eat food, it's one o'clock, it becomes four o'clock, and I'm saying the exact same line, realizing I didn't do it. That's why I carry this necklace. You ever see why I wear this necklace? This necklace is to remind me that time is thing, and the time is there, and time moves. And the more I look at time, the slower it goes, so the more I'm able to look at my surroundings and be able to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing to waste time, and what I'm doing to produce stuff to help me move forward in time. And I went the next day, and I realized the first rule to my life rules, out of the life rules that I've made for myself, is life is to enjoy. If you don't enjoy, you're not living life. And I realized if I bought this game, I would enjoy the time I spent playing this game instead of regretting not buying the game and not enjoying that time. And, uh, well, I could do something else in that time, but at some point in your world, you just want to relax, right? Not all the time, but at least maybe once a day or once every times a week. And, uh, this is what I want to tell you. If you have a dream, you have something you want to pursue, you have a goal, you're the only person that can see it. You're the only person that knows you're capable of doing it because it's your goal and you're the only person that knows your mind. Don't let anybody else tell you different because you are the only person that knows it. Now, what we're going to go over is how it works. Now, I want you to look at a goal you have. Instead of thinking, I want to achieve this goal, Look at it in a different way. Pretend you already have the goal. And if you keep pretending, say, I'm so happy and grateful now, so I want to be a music artist. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a music artist that makes music and records music for my fans to love and listen to. That would be my goal. And uh, if I keep on saying that like I already have the goal, eventually our subconscious mind is only able to accept any, it's, our mind can reject any thought it has. You can get voices in your head that say, no, you're not. Fuck those voices. Let them die. Uh, our, I'm going to cut that out. Our subconscious mind is able to believe anything in the world as long as we keep saying it. The only reason we fail is if we give up. Now, if we keep saying it, let's say we set that goal over and over again every day for like almost at least 15, 30 times a day for maybe a week or two. Eventually, your, brain's, your subconscious mind is going to start to believe it. 
And when your subconscious mind, you're, you're going to start to get the feeling of what it's like to want it. And when you want it, there's nothing else in the world that you want. It's only that one thing. I've got that feeling. When I wanted to make music, the only thing I wanted to do was make music. Everything else seemed like a waste of time to me. All I wanted to do was make music. But this is the problem with reality and these goals. And then you're able to face this problem. Now, let's look at it like a tree. The goal is to get to the top of the tree. And this is the realism of the goal that you believe in your mind. Pretend this is a tree. It's one straight line. You get to the top, you've reached a goal. Now put it in a perspective of reality. You get to the top of the tree. The only problem is the tree is up here. All these leaves on the side pretend they're branches. A tree has multiple branches. Some trees have hundreds of branches. And the thing is, when you want to reach the goal, in reality, the branches are distractions. And people go down these distractions because they enjoy it. This is a distraction, but I enjoy it, but I'm still going to the thing that I want to achieve while I'm enjoying this at a little time. But some people get carried away into distractions, and the voices say, forget the goal, go into the distractions, enjoy this. I can't properly do that because sometimes I go into the distractions, I get the voice in my head saying, what's the point of this? What are you achieving? What are you forwarding? What are you believing? So what I want you to do is I want you to forget the branches Look at reality, look at all the times that you're doing maybe nothing and think of how you can achieve the goal that you want to achieve. And I want you to keep saying that goal over and over in your mind until you know. And the question shouldn't be, am I willing to do this? The answer, forget the question entirely. The answer should be, I will, I am, and I have. I've already achieved the thing that I've wanted. If you look at these three necklaces, one is for time, so I'm able to concept how much time I have, how much time I'm wasting, how much time I'm using, what I need. Sometimes it's hard to stop the stuff that I'm doing that is wasting my time because I have nothing to put into that. See, if you, if you have something that's wasting your time, your brain's used to that routine. It's going to keep on doing that routine. And if you try to stop, you can easily stop. The only problem is your mind has nothing else to do. It's going to go back. Unless you create something that you want to do to replace the routine that you're doing and create a new routine. And if you keep forcing yourself to do that new routine that you want to do, not the one that you're already doing, your mind's going to start to only use that new routine. It's going to want that routine. And if you keep on doing that over and over again, which I've done, when you go back to the old routine, it's not the same. It doesn't feel the same. It feels wrong. You feel outside of your comfort zone. Sometimes I love to be outside of my comfort zone because I feel too comfortable in my zone. And when I'm too comfortable, it starts to stress me out. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? I can be doing something more. I can be doing something abnormal. I can go into the world and I can do something that someone doesn't usually do. And the thing is, most people, they have a darkness inside. Actually, what am I saying? All people have a darkness inside. They have voices in their head. Some people decide to listen to them. Some people don't. Some people criticize. When you listen to criticism, the voices believe the criticism and it puts it into your mind. And this is what this necklace represents. It represents a demon or a dark lord because those voices come and they put it in your mind. And then you start to believe it and it pushes you down. But some people, you look at it the other way around. This is an angel known as a fravashi. It's a religious symbol to my religion, also in the Persian Iran. Uh, and what this is, this represents an angel, an angel of the Lord. When you look at this, when I, I have all these three necklaces because one represents time, one represents the creatures, and one represents the angels. The creatures push you down. But if you agree with the creatures, but you change their ego to believing it like angels, you're able to change the voices and the concepts of your mind to believing something much more powerful than you. You're going to believe the world that you want to achieve, not the world that the universe is telling you you can't, or the creatures in your head are saying you can't. But you know you're able to achieve it because you believe that you're able to do it. And sometimes you don't even have to think, how am I going to do it? Just think that you've already done it. When you think that you've already done it and you put it into your subconscious mind, your mind's going to believe it so mad. That's all it's going to want. And it's going to create opportunities for itself. It's going to find a way to create the stuff that it wants to get to that point. And when you're at that point, you're going to love yourself for doing it. And then you're going to see those dark voices and you're going to look at them and be like, I let you out as a creature and I used your darkness and your pain and your agony to become stronger, become an angel with wings to fly to the goal way above my head, to the top. Because I know I was able to do it and I'm not going to let 
anybody else, any other criticism stop me from doing that thing. Because the only person that knows my goal, the only person that knows my mind the best, the only person that knows who's able to believe and have the capability of doing it is me, is the mind that's holding that goal. If you let anybody else criticize you and you start to think of their criticism, think about yourself first. Think about, wait, they don't know shit about me. I know everything about myself. And if I know I have the ability to achieve this goal, I'm not going to let another person or another thing stand in my way. No matter how I end life, I'm going to end it reaching this goal. And once I reach this goal, I create a new goal. I can be in the world that I've always imagined and no other world. And uh, that's my story for today. Pursue your goals. Keep saying it over like you already have it and your mind and your subconscious is eventually going to want it. At the beginning, your inner thoughts are going to reject it because it knows it doesn't have it. But if you force them to like it, like if I force myself to be happy all the time and I see other people, they're always smiling, they're always happy, my mind automatically becomes happy. I don't even know what the other feeling is anymore. It's just that one feeling. And I just keep on getting that. It's kind of fucked because I'm only getting that feeling nowadays. But literally for everything. But even if I hate everything that's going on, my mind's super happy and it loves it. And then if I get anger, it's not pure anger, it's just me using the anger because I can. But uh, that's been my concept for today here on K-Smooth B, here on the K-Smooth channel, here on Smooth Operations, here on Smooth Corruption Radio. This is not Smooth Corruption Radio, that's a different channel. That's one of my other channels I haven't used in a while. But that's it today. Check out my stream on the Smooth Game, which will be officially posted to the game on YouTube, but the Smooth Game on Twitch. I'll be streaming this game later today. See you then. This is K-Smooth B. And if you want to know what the B stands for, it stands for Blake. If you want to know who Blake is, you might find that out in maybe 5-10 years if the goal is achieved. Originally, actually, the B stands for bitch, but uh, then I realized if I don't want to use that, it actually stands for Blake, because Blake is the other half to my songs. And in 10 years, you might find out who that is. But for now, this has been Case Move B. And we're out of here. Hope you reach those goals and pursue everything that you ever wanted. See you next time.